Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is gonna be a little bit of a random one. I am trying to make it as fitnessy as possible. So I'm gonna include a little bit of a fitness Q&A in this video. Today is actually gonna be my rest day, I think. I'm saying I think because basically this morning um, I did a try and haul for the new on a drop that is happening today which I'm actually wearing right now it's the new unified colors and then in about half an hour I have a appointment and then I have to come back and make dinner and then by the time that I would end up going to the gym it would just be too late so I'm gonna have my rest day today I think and also just take you through a little bit of a what I eat in a day for this video obviously as you will have seen for breakfast I had my holy grail which I have been having for the past over two months now and I'm obsessed with it. It's literally just like the quickest breakfast ever. It's yogurt, raspberries, dark chocolate, honey and chia seeds. And I've mentioned before loads of times, but I don't like to have something really heavy in the morning. And I feel like that is just perfect for me with my vitamins and a coffee as well. So that is what I've had so far. I also actually just had, that I didn't show you, two crumpets with butter and marmite on because I saw some crumpets the other day in Lidl and I thought, Do you know what? I haven't had crumpets <laughs> in the longest time and I was clearly just feeling very British. So I bought them and yeah, they're actually so much nicer than a bagel. So I might actually just stick with the crumpets for a while. I just, I don't know, it's the texture of them. It's just so yummy. But I actually got a proper car mount for my camera. Um, No, that's not the right way to say it. A, ca a camera mount for my car. <laughs> I got one the other day off Amazon so that we can properly do car chats and have like proper conversations in the car about my camera just like flying on the floor. So that is what I'm going to do in this video because I'm excited to use it and test it out. And that is where we're going to do the fitness q and I'm going to do it in the car, maybe after my appointment today or maybe even tomorrow. But I'm also using a new camera for this. Actually, it's not a new camera. That is a lie. I'm using the camera that I use in the gym. So you'll probably be able to tell a difference in my vlogs, but I have like a vlog camera and then in the gym I use like a higher quality, better camera for my workout videos. I'm using that camera right now, but with a different lens. And I'm not sure if the quality is better or worse. So let me know if you like it or if you prefer my other camera. I feel like I just wanted to upgrade my vlogging game a little bit. And the Canon G7X that I currently use to vlog, I don't know, I just feel like the camera quality is just not great on it. So I may buy a new vlogging camera, but if this is good enough, I'm gonna use this. It is a big camera though, and the lens is really big as well. So I don't really want to be carrying that around in public, but when I'm at home vlogging, I feel like I I will use this one. I need to just see what the footage looks like in Final Cut Pro as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, how the audio is as well. But yeah, as I said, this is a new um, Honor colour. This is a new unified colour. This is called Orchid Purple. And I also just need to show you guys this bag. Look how cute this bag is. It's launching today as well. This is, I'm filming this on Tuesday, but this video will be up on Sunday. So this launch will already be done. I don't know if there will be any stock left, but how cute is this bag? It's giving like fitness Barbie. But yeah, I literally only got my parcel yesterday. So I think this is probably the quickest turnaround I've ever done a try and haul in. I filmed it this morning, edited it and posted it within like an hour because the launch is today, so. You guys can't say that I don't put in effort for you for these launches. <laughs> yeah, I do have an appointment today in literally, like as I said, about half an hour. I actually need to check the clock because I have not lit. But about a month ago now, I actually had um, masseter Botox, which is like Botox in your um, masseter muscle. I think that's what it is. Don't quote me on that. It's like in your jaw muscle. Um, because I basically heard loads of things about it and I did my own research and stuff like that, but I have always grind, grinded my teeth since I was young. I still do it to this day. And as you guys know, I recently got um, composite bonded on my teeth and I wear a retainer at night. And I don't know, I just feel like I wake up sometimes, my mouth is really achy because I've been grinding it. And I wake up, I wake up and then once I realize that I'm awake, I actually have to physically unclench my jaw because I realize I've woken up like this. <laughs> I'm like, I really don't want to ruin the composite bonding that I've had on my teeth. So, long story short, basically masseter Botox help to re helps to reduce um, your grinding of your teeth if you grind your teeth because it kind of like disables the muscle in your jaw. Please don't quote me on that, I'm not like a professional, but I think that it does that in your jaw so it kind of like stops them from working. So yeah, I got that and to be honest, I actually really do feel like I'm not grinding my teeth 
as much and that is obviously the first time I had it so today I'm going for a little top up and she's just going to see how it's looking and how it's working and stuff so yeah that is what I have on today and then I need to get back and make my dinner and I think I'm going to make those tacos again because hyperfixation meal I'm absolutely obsessed with them I'm also I've also just started season four of Game of Thrones and I am hooked something like absolutely shocking happened at the end of the last season I'm actually a little bit traumatized still I'm really like upset about it but um yeah I'm excited to see what's gonna happen if you've seen it you'll know what I'm talking about but I really didn't think that I was gonna like Game of Thrones I'm just not into that kind of stuff you know like mythical stuff like that like old things battles medieval sort of stuff like I just don't really like that kind of stuff but it's I feel like there's a lot more to Game of Thrones so yeah I'm really enjoying it also on this camera I can do like a really wide lens <laughs> I don't know I feel like that looks really funny a bit of like a fish eye lens you know also happy March guys I actually cannot believe it's March but here is the month of March on my friend's calendar one of the best scenes of all time man the myth the legend honestly if Ross is not your favorite character like what are you actually playing at he is the best character I absolutely love him he is hilarious I feel like real friends fans their favorite character is Ross I'm just gonna put that out there it's not Chandler it's not Joey it's Ross he is absolutely hilarious like I actually laugh out loud every time when Ross is on my screen when he says something he's so unintentionally funny I just love him so much <laughs> but yeah what is the time okay it's currently five past twelve I'm gonna make my way out and I'm gonna leave for my appointment right here is the new car mount in action I hope that it's stable <laughs> because if this big camera falls on me while I'm driving we might end up in an accident. Oh my gosh, it is the sunniest day today. I feel like summer is really on its way. Well, spring really, not summer. Do you know what annoys me so much around my building? There is just so much, so many roadworks and just so many delivery drivers and everything coming through that it takes me ages to get out sometimes. You know what? I'm gonna whip out the sunnies today because it is sunny. But how are you guys? What have you been up to lately? Let me know in the comments what you've been up to, how everybody's training is going or not training. I am personally feeling better than I have been over the past few weeks. I honestly don't know what it was. Sorry, this lighting is absolutely awful. I honestly think it was just like a bit of a blip. Um, which is obviously so normal and happens to everyone in their journey. I think it would be even weirder if you didn't have those little blips. But yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling definitely better, but I feel like my motivation is still like so low. But obviously we've got to get to the gym, we've got to get moving regardless of motivation. So god, I don't know I don't know what it is about this weather that just makes me want to go to like a drive-thru and just get an ice drink. I might do that, you know, but I've already had an iced coffee for today, so it could be an iced matcha on the cards, even though I can literally just make one at home. And my matchas are actually really good, you know. My iced matchas, I remember when I used to vlog, um, this probably like a year ago, maybe two years ago now, and I always used to go to the Starbucks drive through um, and get an iced matcha and sit and vlog. <laughs> That just feels so nostalgic to me right now, but I wouldn't be opposed to doing that today. I feel like it's this, I feel like it's this camera mount, you know? It's like making me wanna just sit in the car and chat to you. <laughs> but at the moment, I have been having some very exciting calls, meetings. There's hopefully some really exciting um, things in the works at the moment. I'm just gonna take these off while I'm in the shed <laughs> But yeah, there is hopefully some really exciting things in the works and um, for me over the next few months Which I'm so excited about and I hope that you know, they kind of come to light It's more so just like they're in talks at the moment But I'm hoping that you know things come to life and I will be able to share it with you guys. Oh my god. Why do people drive so slow? I actually need to stop with the road rage, it's so bad. I need to grow up. I feel like I've got little man syndrome when it comes to driving. <laughs> Seeing as I am 
five foot two, definitely have a little man syndrome. I get that off my dad for sure because my dad <laughs> is about five foot five. That's where I get my shortness from, and he 100% has a little man syndrome. I'll tell you that for free. But yeah, what was I saying? I don't know what I was talking about. I also haven't worn this jumper in so long. This is my Gold's Gym jumper that I got in LA when I went to Gold's Gym. Like, it's just one of my favorite sweatshirts ever. I just think it's so nice. And I have few, like, colorful sweatshirts that are actually not honor, if you know what I mean. Like, sometimes I do like to wear other stuff, you know, other than honor. <laughs> and I feel like I really need to invest in more things like that. I really want to start getting maybe more, like, loungewear that's not honor <laughs> obviously not like sports loungewear because i am like exclusive with honor but i don't know maybe like a nice expensive tracksuit or something i really like the look of some like cole buxton ones but i don't know i feel like a lot of people have those i really want to find something that's a little bit niche and like not a lot of people have but that's really really nice quality um not that I don't love my Honor tracksuits, they're honestly like one of my favourite things ever, but you know, I do want to wear some other clothes, other than Honor sometimes, so I feel like I want to branch out, especially with my normal day-to-day -day clothes as well, I really, really want to start putting effort into like fashion outside of the gym and my outfits outside of the gym, when I'm going on holidays this year and everything like that, I feel like I just want to, I usually just like say oh you know a pair of cargos and a top will be fine i'll just chuck it on but i feel like i want to actually plan plan my outfits and like put effort into them because i definitely do not do that but i love like looking at fashion things i love seeing other outfits that people create themselves and i just simply can't be asked but i want 2024 to be the year that i can be asked to put effort into wearing nice outfits and actually put together outfits because I I love things like that as I said I love watching other people do things like that so I just need to do that for myself more often but do you know what guys it's actually warm as well as sunny today it's 11 degrees like that is actually tropical I'm not gonna lie <laughs> that is tropical weather for the UK do you know what also right I rediscovered this song, I'm going to put it on in a second, I rediscovered this song the other day because it was actually on Euphoria, my brother was watching Euphoria um, because I told him to watch it because I enjoyed it so much, I watched it like Christmas time, me and Anton literally binged it in like a month, um, so I told him to watch it and then he was watching it and this song was on it and I was like this is an actual fucking tune, like this is, you know when there's just a tune that you could listen to over and over again and you wouldn't get sick of it? That is, that is this song, let me put it on. Oh, it just does something to my soul. It just tingles, it tingles me. This is the ultimate summer song. Ah. Chin up for me, until you head that way. I'm gonna do the same dose as last time just because okay. you're so very strong. I think because it's your first time having the master's hair, we're just yeah. gonna double dose you up on it. Okay. Um, same again though, give it around three to four weeks and we'll see how you get on with this will Yeah, they do it for yeah. you. Okay. Same like last time, just clench me whilst I'm doing this. Little scratch. Right guys, as you will have seen, I just had my masseter Botox top up. I obviously again do when I say as well that I'm not like promoting any, you know, things like this to get these done. These are just a couple of things that I have got done to just make myself feel a little bit more confident. I've honestly only had um, nose filler, this masseter Botox, and then like Lumi Eyes, which is a little bit like tear trough filler, but it's not filler. It's like another kind of liquid that's meant to reduce your eye bags a little bit. So that's all I've had done to my face. Not that you know you shouldn't get stuff if you don't want to have them done but i am not promoting these things i just always want to be honest with you guys and let you know what i have had done because i feel like it's important to also tell you because you know one day i might look different and then you you guys are like well why do you look so different and i just feel like people are just so dishonest online and yeah there's no need for it everybody can get done what they want to get done whether they want to get something done or not but yeah the girl that i go to i trust her with my life i think she is amazing at what she does i will leave her at on the screen but she is in like berry so she's like 
just outside of Manchester. She's about a 25 minute drive from Manchester City Centre. So if you're in the area, I highly, highly recommend her. So yeah, it is now one o'clock. So I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go back home. I think the drive for idea was a bit ambitious of me because I'm quite hungry now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go home, make dinner and I'll show you what I make. I've just got home and realized that I don't have any wraps. So I can't make my tacos. Oh, or I could order some on delivery. Be really lazy. Mm, but they, it could come in like 15 minutes. Go get some wraps. Do I need anything else? Do you know what? I'm going to do that because I want the tacos. I'm going to order wraps on delivery. Okay, here is my dinner. The tacos. I already showed you how I made these in my last video, but I am honestly obsessed with these. It is chicken, feta cheese, onions with coriander and lime, and it is definitely my new hyperfixation meal. Right, this is future me. <laughs> I just wanted to jump in and basically apologize for the camera quality for the duration of all the video that you have just watched. I have just switched back to my vlogging camera, my G7X, my small one. It is so much better than the camera that I was vlogging with before. Like you could probably tell when you start the video, like it looks such bad quality. Um, so I will not be using that camera. I know that I said that I was trying it, but once I've like actually put it into Final Cut Pro and stuff, it is just so blurry and this is just so much better. So yeah, the Q&A part of the video that you are gonna be watching next in a second is with this camera, which is why it will look different to what the whole video has looked like. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the Q&A. Hello, it is now a few days later, but I thought I would answer these fitness Q&A questions as I never got around to it this week. It is a few days later now and I haven't picked up my camera in a few days, obviously, because I've not really been up to anything. I've just been up to boring stuff. Boring, admin -y, stuff like just work over the past few days and obviously that's quite boring to vlog and um, so i just knew that i would pick my camera up again when i was answering these questions because i wanted to include them in this video so i need to go back to my archived stories it's also international women's day today it won't be by the time this is up but happy international women's day to all of my girlies on here for a couple days ago i just made a post um about like you know women lifting weights and like looking manly and stuff and it's like if you lift weights what you look manly and i feel like that is just such a good post for international women's day because obviously that is such a big misconception and myth that if you lift a few weights you will look like a man which is just not true so i feel like that was just like i just definitely wanted to speak about it on international women's day because i get that dm a lot like people saying will I look like a man, will I look too muscly, will I look bulky, like if I lift weights, um, and it is just so not true, so I think, oh, oh my gosh, did you hear my stomach rumble then, I'm actually starving, um, I think to speak about that on a day that just highlights women is really important, I don't like to be cringe about stuff like this, I don't like to be, you know, just a bit cringe, but I also feel like it is important to speak about and to just kind of like squash that myth, <laughs> but anyway, it's not even International Women's Day anymore by the time that you watch this, so let's just shut up and find this story. Somebody said, I feel like this is a good one to start on, what setbacks did you face and how have they shaped your journey? Honestly, I'm really grateful to kind of say that I've never faced any huge setbacks in the sense of I've never really been injured, which, touch wood, I'm so, so grateful for and I hope that, you know, it doesn't happen. I feel like I try and do my best to prevent myself from getting injured, you know, like I always do my warm-ups. I don't do cool downs, I'm not gonna lie, but I always do my warm-ups. I never go straight into lifting heavyweights without warming up my body to obviously prevent injury and yeah as i said i'm very lucky to have not experienced an injury before which i feel like is a big setback and a quite common setback for a lot of people um but obviously i have had setbacks mentally as i literally have spoken about recently i've not been in like the best headspace mentally which i feel like has been a little bit of a setback for me um i've not really been that invested in my training and i just feel like i've not really been there mentally which obviously isn't a huge setback i'm still capable of being able to train i was still you know dragging myself to the gym most of the days but still i wouldn't say it's you know the best i have ever been in my fitness journey whatsoever it's not even close and i would class that as a little bit of a setback because moments like that really do test your resilience and your discipline and just your kind of like mental strength that you've built up over your fitness journey and that is honestly why it is called a fitness journey like i have been on this journey for around six years now and 
you guys will know if you're on the journey as well it's not easy it's not linear it's not all the same you know you don't have 100% motivation every single day not every single training session is good you're not going to hit all your targets all the time and that is why it's called a journey so you're you're going to like constantly experience setbacks whether you want to call it a setback or not I don't really like the word setback um because it kind of means that you're like starting from day one again which is just not true if you kind of encounter a little bit of a setback it by no means means that you have to start back at day one again you just carry on from where you was before i feel like that's a toxic mindset that a lot of people have that if maybe one thing goes wrong on their journey they have to just start up all over again which is just not true you know i could have easily just said like oh i'm not bothering with anything anymore then i'm not going to do it i'm not going to eat healthily i'm not going to go to the gym again because like i've just messed it all up you know like i need to go back to day one but i didn't i just when i was feeling a little bit better i just continued as i was and continue going to the gym i wasn't you know pushing myself way too hard when i went back into the gym because that is how injuries are caused you know if you've had a setback you've not been in the gym for a while you've been a little bit consistent and then you think right i need to get back into it full steam ahead you go into the gym lifting all these heavy weights that you've not lifted in ages you are likely to injure yourself you're likely to just not be able to put your all into the sessions coming up after that because you've kind of you know put out too much in that one session because you think you need to go all in because you've taken a step back which is not true but this person said how has it shaped your journey and i feel like i've kind of spoken about that it's just kind of knowing yourself that you're going to have these setbacks it's not going to be linear it's going to be all over the place your journey and once you kind of accept that fact i feel like the whole thing gets so much easier and like you just kind of say to yourself it's not that deep i literally say that to myself all the time okay i've skipped a session because i'm not feeling so great it's not that deep you just go tomorrow or the day after not that you should just skip sessions for absolutely no reason but if you are not feeling your best and you think okay i'm not gonna go to the gym today i'm gonna just take this day as my rest day i'll go tomorrow that is absolutely fine like i feel like being that sure and confident in your own mind is something that is really really important when starting out on this journey or you know just being on this journey in general okay i'm gonna answer this question because as i said it's currently international women's day what is the best tip for a girl that now wants to start lifting i would say to honestly just do exercise that you enjoy i feel like far too many people nowadays do certain you know bits of exercise because they just see another person doing it this doesn't even mean just for women this is for anybody but do exercise that you enjoy for one i would also recommend as a woman if you don't already looking into your cycle like your menstrual cycle and um, because that can obviously really change and fluctuate like around the month when you're in different parts of your cycle it can change your training it can, and as we all know it can change your mood and everything in the way that you see yourself so i feel like before going into training that is something important that you should look into a little bit more i'm guilty of not doing it enough but recently um, I've definitely been doing it a lot more as you guys know I do have an aura ring I don't actually have it on right now I left it at home because I don't train in it because I don't want to scratch it and um, but that I use that to track my cycle as well you know it takes my temperature and tells me if I'm fertile or not and I can obviously just see when I'm coming up to my period when I'm ovulating and everything like that which is important to know when you're training because one week you could be lifting this is so random 60 kilograms for squats easily for eight reps and then the week after maybe the week before your period you maybe only get it for four reps because naturally the week before your period i think is the one where you're a little bit lower energy which is where i am right now in my cycle i'm due on like any day maybe tomorrow or the day after and um, so naturally my energy is going to be a little bit lower motivation is going to be a little bit lower and this is probably when you're more likely to want to do less high impact activity but in general yeah as a woman i feel like it is important to know about your cycle before you want to start lifting and another tip as i said you will not look manly or masculine or too muscly if you start lifting weights like she just said a tip and i feel like that's just a nice thing to know that that will not happen i feel like so many women just put it off because they're scared of that happening like you do not need to just be doing cardio all the time if you want to that's absolutely fine but you don't need to just be doing cardio all the time just because you think that weights is the thing that's going to make you look manly if you know what i mean so just do whatever exercise you enjoy trust me things like that don't just happen in a few weeks you don't just look like a man in a few weeks and it's actually kind of impossible for us to look like men unless we 
took you know steroids because we just have a completely different level of testosterone everything like that and it's harder for us to gain muscle that's why naturally women are not as big muscular wise than men because we don't have as much testosterone um so unless we kind of took steroids as women that would be the only way that we'd even be able to kind of look like a man that has muscles so don't even worry about that somebody said tips on gym anxiety and not wanting to go alone but having no one to go with honestly i still feel like this a little bit sometimes especially if i join a new gym but the things i do is i feel like i'm very good at just thinking you know we live on a floating rock who actually gives a fuck i think that all the time that is just my mental that's how my brain works i think like that all the time but i would recommend obviously thinking like that and then just putting your headphones on listening to music that you enjoy music that makes you feel good having your plan set out for you so you're not feeling extra anxious about what you're going to be doing you don't know what kind of exercises you're going to be doing so you're kind of stressing about that as well as stressing about the social anxiety aspect of things and i just feel like it's something that comes with time i always wanted to train with someone as well when i first started out on my fitness journey but over time the more i have obviously trained on my own the more i actually just way prefer it i way prefer training solo i don't have to wait for anyone i don't have to tell anyone to hurry the fuck up in sets because i need to get done the session's quick i'm in and out and yeah just think of it as you're in your own world don't even think about anybody around you in the gym i can promise you like 99 percent of the time nobody is actually looking at you or caring about what you are doing it's all in your head and i even sometimes feel like this sometimes as i said especially when i start a new gym it is all in your head nobody is even really looking at you so i wouldn't even worry about it and yeah just stick some music on have your plan ready and just get in the zone somebody said how to stick to nutritious foods and stop binging as a busy student so this is just gonna sound like so obvious and like duh but only buy foods that you are going to use for the week so i would recommend planning your meals for the week and only buying foods that you are going to use for those meals if you don't want to binge don't buy the things that you think you're going to binge on if they're not in the house whatsoever you don't have the opportunity to binge on them buy the foods that you have in your plan for your meals i feel like as well you've said that you're a busy student i think planning your meals would also be really helpful and maybe meal prepping if you don't already my boyfriend is currently at uni and he meal preps and he says that it literally is like a lifesaver it saves him so much time and he meal preps everything on maybe like a sunday and then midweek puts it in the fridge and then he just takes it to uni with him and he is just having those meals it stops him from kind of maybe going out to buy something if you're just stressing on what to eat because you don't have anything to eat i think doing everything to help your future self is super important taking time out in one point in one day to help your future self is really important especially as a student i obviously i'm not a student so i can't like vouch for a student i've never really been a student at uni but i know how busy you must be like as i said i've seen how busy my boyfriend is and he recommends that the most out of anything to stay on track is meal prepping so yeah i would highly recommend that if you don't do it already someone said what's your tanning routine this is not really training wise but um what's your tanning routine any tips on keeping your tan to last while working out a lot so i personally use the filter by molly may extra dark fake tan I usually do it on a Sunday or a Monday. I do two layers and then it's, to be honest, you'll be able to tell by my hands now, it's kind of like coming off. Like it is currently Friday. So, you know, I'd usually do it in a couple of days and I'd get a bath either tomorrow or Sunday, scrub it all off. But I'm really bad for this, but I don't really moisturize. But I have started doing it over the past two weeks and it has made my tan stay so much better and it stopped it from going like tiger bready um but yeah i've been moisturizing every day after my shower and yeah i really recommend that if you don't do it already i'm just a bit lazy with it like body moisturizing but it really does help keeping your tan nice and fresh i tend to avoid getting a bath when my tan is kind of like freshest maybe like monday to thursday or friday because i feel like getting in the bath really washes it off so i get um showers instead but yeah that's honestly it really i feel like it is just that finding a good tan i do exfoliate as well when i get in the bath before the tan um so yeah that's it really <laughs> okay i'm gonna do one more because i need to get home i actually have a facial this afternoon someone said how many exercises should i do in one session and how to organize them so on average in every workout that i do I, th I feel like i do probably like 
five exercises maximum maybe and I have spoken about this a lot of times before in my leg workouts especially on how to structure a leg workout and how to organize them etc but I feel like this applies to all of my workouts but I always, always, always start with compound movements, which are the movements that are targeting more than one muscle at a time. So these are like your squats, deadlifts, hip thrusts, and they just require a lot of energy, which is why I keep them at the start when I have the most energy within me. And then I tend to go on to unilateral movements, which is single arm or single leg movements. These are obviously really good to help prevent imbalances and they're just really good to target, you know, the muscle that you're trying to target really focus it on one side of your body it just puts a lot of like specific target on one side and then lastly i will go into an isolation movement so these are the movements that are more focused on one muscle at a time it's usually the kind of movements that i would tend to do more volume in i do more reps in this is like hamstring curl leg extension things like that we're targeting more like one muscle at once and yeah they don't require as much energy which is why i put them at the end okay then i'm gonna answer this one because i get asked this quite a lot do you use any peds no i do not take steroids whilst i'm very flattered that you think i take steroids i do not and i never will i just personally don't want to no hate to anyone that does it you know i know that sometimes you have to do it for the sport that you want to be in and if you're honest about it great but i personally will never go on any steroids or anything it's not for me but yeah that is going to be it for this q a sorry it wasn't like the longest but i just wanted to include a little bit of a fitness bit at the end of this video but i hope you guys enjoyed this video as i said i have a hydrofacial this afternoon it's my second one and i really enjoyed it last time i got it so i'm excited for it today i just love a facial a massage anything like that where i'm just laid down and somebody's just playing with me do you know what i mean like i just absolutely love that yeah i'm gonna end this video here and i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next week bye <laughs>